Now I'll take you around the front and show you what I have done with some of these. And uh, I have plans to do something else, but I won't tell you. I'll keep that a secret. And then you guys will see what I do next. Hi guys, it is indeed another sunny and lovely, well, it's a lovely day. The sun's going in and out, but it's still a lovely day. So I'm going to go outside in the garden now and make the most of it. But as you can see, I am all geared up because the black flies are still outside here in full swing. What you doing? What you doing? You're, you're exercising warming, warming up okay okay, okay. <laughs> you guys obviously have big things in store okay so before I get started in the garden I'm just gonna go in the shop for a bit I gotta get some stuff inside so I'm gonna open this door to get in because I have a few things still in the house that I'm moving in into the shop now I'm not open like all um, like regular hours because it wouldn't make sense for me to sit in here like 10 to 5 or 8 to 4 or whatever hour because Usually I don't get a lot of foot traffic. So if I have projects to do, which, yeah, sorry, my hand was just in front of the camera. But if I have projects to do for clients or if I'm doing um, video lessons for my other um, YouTube channel, yeah, these things get it in my way, then I will be inside here for a little bit more. But because I'm out in the countryside and I don't get that much traffic, yeah, I don't like let the store take up most of my time. I spend most of my time in the garden. And if I have anything to do on the road, I'll go on the road and get things done. So if you want to come in, if you're anywhere in the neck of the woods, we're at 177 Bowen Road. If you want to come in, just shoot me a message and we can set up a time. You can come and shop anytime, whether it is nine in the morning or nine in the evening especially in the summer because nine in the evening it's still well lit okay so yeah i'm just gonna go across to the um inside the home there and grab a basket that i have with the last set of stuff that i have to take back into the shop oh i just remember i need to get my son um, some Lysol wipes to clean up these suitcases because he has big plans in his future. God bless him. So I have to remember to get the Lysol wipes when I go in. But otherwise, I'm going to go inside here, get this basket. Um, yeah, I think I have to put the camera away for just a bit because I have to leave this basket out. So yeah, the basket was way heavier than I anticipated, so I took it across, but then I forgot to grab the Lysol wipes. So now I'm going back in the shop to grab the white wipes. Okay, let's take you in with me. Okay. Where do I have those wipes now? Oh, here we go. I got it. Just gonna warn him not to finish off. What's that? I'm breaking. Yeah, I just put something down on the floor there that I had to step across. Yeah. So I'm back out now. Um, I have something that I want to show you guys that I did. That's the white there. Now let's make our way to the greenhouse. I have some stuff I need 
to take to the greenhouse, but I'm gonna leave them behind me for now. Yeah. Can you hear the birds? Mm. Yeah, we're now approaching the greenhouse. Now, usually our first frost date is somewhere around the 10 to the 15 or so of um, May, our first frost. Let's hope I said first and not last. And so I don't get any of these type of things in the ground until after Victoria Day. Usually that's the marker for us, um, specifically Ontario. I'm not sure about the rest of Canada. If you are um, in Canada, you can go ahead and comment on this. But yeah, after Victoria Day, then we usually um, think that we're clear enough. So we start putting um, perishables in the ground. And so yeah, I have quite a bit of stuff here like a whole bunch of different um, squash and I have tomatoes peppers and more squash and yeah these are my sunflower they're a bit laggy but they're putting on um, second or mature leaves so which means that they are rooting and so I am a pretty happy camper I can't complain look at that I'm trying to for and I that one seed sprouted and now I'm getting another one there so that's a good thing I'll have at least two oh, my runner bees are right here looks like they are poised to pop and if they need any water no it doesn't feel like it needs any water um, one thing about me is I can overwater stuff so I gotta watch myself when it comes on to uh, water and stuff and uh, rain it and yeah but yeah guys that's about it in the greenhouse it's going good now <laughs> this thing when I have it on it kind of diffuses the light so sometimes i think it's a bit cloudy but it's not cloudy because um for some reason um this is like a black netting that's on the front and it doesn't give me the true lightness um outside so yeah anyways guys let's go and show you something special i've been doing just checking on these things i seeded um some seeds i seeded some seeds out here let's take this off is this rain that's popping and so i'm just checking to see if anything is sprouting maybe not quite yet i guess it's not warm enough yet for them to sprout although i just put them in not even a week ago and so yeah these ones over here leeks and onions they sprouted inside and I took them out here these are a whole bunch of different marigolds that are sprouting here which I'm very happy about and what do I have here red poker I see one sprout so far yeah, but summer hasn't started yet, so we've got lots of time. <sighs> Nothing sprouting there. Nothing sprouting there. Look at my plants inside there, guys. I'm very unorthodox when it comes on to my plants. I don't follow the rule of thumb nor the book. I throw everything out the window and I just do what works for me the time that I have to spend in the garden and so yeah it may look a little different but yeah check this out guys this is my first crop to reap in my garden and it is asparagus I planted these from seed but guess what I don't cook my asparagus I basically eat 
my asparagus in the garden so I'll come in the garden and I'll just pop well that one's I think that's too low yeah that's more like it I'll just break it and I'll just do a thing like this and then now I have to unzip this thing to <laughs> I have to put the camera down for a bit to unzip this thing and then that's it now zip this back up before any black flies get inside <laughs> yeah and so yeah guys that is how I eat my asparagus I prefer it raw then cooked so I snack on them in the garden cool I see signs of life I put some peas mm. they're coming up snap peas I have the mesh there because I'm trying to deter squirrels and chipmunks no sign over here yet actually looked like something was digging right here <laughs> let's hope they've left some for me <laughs> yeah well check this out guys let's go around the back here now I'll show you something oh I put some beets in here no sprouting that. Okay. Okay. So you see these. These are called strapping. And these are what they use when they're packing like lumber and stuff to be shipped to the big box stores. And uh, I picked these strappings up because I'm going to show you what I use them to do. I don't them in my veggie garden but I do use them in my flower garden because I'm not sure what type of treatment they have on them and so usually I don't want to get them close to my food now I'll take you around the front and show you what I have done with some of these and I have plans to do something else but I won't tell you I'll keep that a secret and then you guys will see what I do next okay so let's see I've put in a few plants recently I should show you guys maybe in another video if I show you now it's gonna be too long of a video so maybe in another video I'll show you some of the new babies that I have planted in the garden but yeah we are going to the front we are going to the front. We are going to the front. You can see it in the distance. There. We are approaching my project. Uh, here we go. Can you see them? Yeah, this is what I use the strappings for. Like last year, I put this arbor up because what I want to do is kind of make uh, an area where you have to go beyond to be able to see what's behind there. I don't like a garden that when you enter the garden, you can just see everything at the same time. So I'm trying to make like little secret garden areas. And so I put the arbor up with the... Um, cedar um, that we cut from the back of the property that we've been cleaning and so yesterday I spent some time to cut and to um, apply the strapping to the arbor on both sides no now I'm gonna be doing the top portion later this is not imperative right now because I planted two climbing roses 
at the bottom here one is over here this is a rosa leverkusen leverkusen it's a climbing rose and it's a yellow rose so i'm looking forward to it climbing up the strobus and then the one over here is a pink rose climbing rose rosa john davis and so i'm looking forward to having um, my roses climbing up the trellis and hopefully when they meet here in the middle maybe i will decide whether or not i want them to like cross over to have pink and yellow on both sides but yeah friends this is what i was up to yesterday and so i'm gonna get busy now and get some more work done and i will let you see what i have done today in another video as i said before thank you guys so much for checking in thank you for watching the videos for liking sharing commenting and yes for subscribing coming along with us on our country journey